Hello and welcome to another episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. This is Beriathan of the Citadel Guard of Condor. We are back in the old forest, still looking for the uh, grimoire uh, relating to Louis Lott's travels in the area a few years ago. But in order to get it, we need to pick up some plants. So here we have most of them are, are around this area, uh, yarrow and uh, willow bark, the mushrooms, everything is around here. But getting a little bit ahead of myself, we are nowhere near the end of, of today's <laughs> uh, quest line. I mean, th this quest line goes on for a little bit longer. Nonetheless, I, I hope we might be able to, to complete this today. Or maybe just leave the last the last part of it for the next one. We're almost done with Cardline, if you can believe it. And with Before the Shadow overall. And I gotta say, I, I'm I'm really surprised. I have said that before. I'm really surprised. I thought this would take longer than it has. But then again, now that I am comparing this playthrough to my original Shadows of Fangmar playthrough, it seems I will end up getting to Rivendell at about the same time I did on on the before the, the Echoes of Fangmar playthrough. On, on Echoes of Fangmar, I, I got to Rivendell on episode 28, I think it was. And at this rate... At, at this rate, that's what, what's gonna happen in here. We're gonna finish all the content uh, on on level... On, on episode 27, which is gonna be next one. And you know, when I started playing Before the Shadow, I kind of wanted this to be the case that... Um, well, initially, that's what I wanted. That I would take the exact same amount of time doing Before the Shadow than I did doing the first three books of Shadows of Angmar. So that way, if... So that way you could pick which one of the two you preferred as the start of the adventure. Then, that, that was uh, before I got the idea of mixing them both, which is what I'm still aiming for, but if by any reason it, the Before the Shadow playthrough doesn't mix as I have wished with a, the Shadows of Fangmar playthrough, you can still choose which one to pick as the start of the story, as both of them will converge in Rivendell at episode 28. It's kind of crazy that's the case. It's kind of crazy that's what happened once again. That's what I kind of wished for, but I never expected that actually would happen because I thought before the shadow would take me 30 something episodes to complete. Now I see that's what that what's not the case and I'm so surprised about that. Here we have a Oh my god, Kedrach family. Her daughter Derwin, her grandson Aileen. What a nice family you have in here. What do you need? You found everything? Why thank you. The willow bark and Yara will help my daughter feel better, while the mushrooms will be part of tonight's meal. Do you know I searched my entire house while you were gone? Then my daughter reminded me that the chest was in the basement. Oh, my memory is not what it was, it once was. Go on ahead and search the chest for the book. If it is in there, you can bring it to my sister. This chest in here. You found a blue cloak. Continue searching the chest, alright. You found an old book. Ah, the blue cloak. So, you found my blue cloak, eh? Yes, I was the one bringing food to Auntie Hembran. My mother suspected, but didn't ask me about it. I had to stop this week because my daughter and I both fell ill, and I have been here watching over her. 
I am so grateful you were able to help fish for Auntie in my stead. I will take up the task again as soon as I'm feeling better. Perhaps this time I will not have to go cloaked and hiding who I am. I desperately wish to meet my mother's sister. I was able to bake some bread earlier today. Will you bring the love on the table to Auntie Hembran? May it help to even further mend the gap between our family. Oh, that's very interesting. You found the grimoire? Oh dear, I cannot believe I have had it all this time. So many years of my sister's thinking I stole it from her when I left. I would never have done such a thing. I can understand now why she never visited, even when my daughter was born. How very sad. We missed out on so many years of each other's lives. Please bring the book to my sister, with my blessing and my apology if you will carry it. It is not enough, but I hope one day she will forgive me. Ah, uh, here we have also the bread. The bread is warm and smells amazing. I didn't remember that the questline ended like this. You, you will remember, of course, Hembran on the last episode mentioned there was a stranger in a blue cloak that they brought her fish, but he hadn't come uh, in, in a few days and he needed the fish. And now, of course, we, we got the answer. And it's a very wholesome way of, of tying everything together. I didn't remember this was the case, but I did remember liking a lot the end of this particular quest line between the two sisters, kind of really unexpected. Still caught me by surprise the second time around somehow. <laughs> and and I yeah, I, I really like this a lot because when when she started talking about the stranger in a blue cloak, a man in a blue cloak, maybe that's what the devs intended by my mind went immediately to Tom Bombadil. He doesn't wear a cloak, of course. He does wear a jacket, but the jacket is blue. So I thought, well, maybe she got confused between a jacket and a cloak. But now learning the truth behind it, that is... My, my god, I'm, I'm blown away a second time with the exact same thing. Can you, can you believe that? I hope you liked this one as much as I did. Uh, we'll get the chance of listening to uh, Hembrand's uh, feelings, Hembrand's thoughts when she learns the truth. And once again, I don't remember the specifics, but it was heartwarming and heartbreaking at the same time. And you will see in just a moment just why. We are almost there. This this part in the old forest, I thought what's what's gonna take a lot longer than it actually did. I don't know, I might be misremembering the, the last few steps of this quest line, but so far it's it's been very straight to the point. I mean we we indeed had some uh diversions here and there, the soup. And, uh, and the plants and everything, but it, it was still building up towards this. And of course it makes sense. She didn't have fish, so she needed a soup. And uh, the part about the plant was also important because that's what explains the illness of the daughter and why she hadn't come back to bring the fish. So in the end, it all ties together quite nicely. I have missed so much. Has so much time really passed while I sat in my anger? Brett? From Blue Cloak? You explained Darwin's role as a Blue Cloaked stranger and her wish for mending things between the sisters. This whole time, it was Darwin? And my sister's daughter has a daughter of her own? I have missed so much. Has so much time really passed while I sat in my anger? This seals it. I will go and see them and bring herbs of my own to help with si this sickness. In truth, I know a path my niece will be able to tolerate. All this time I could have gone to Kendrak, but I closed my heart just as I closed my door when she would come by. When was it that she stopped coming, I wonder? So long ago, it seems. I wonder if she will forgive me, but from what you have said, she already has? 
Joy creeps into my heart, I must make haste. As much haste as this old body can make, that is. She laughs softly. So you return, and no more the worse for wear, it seems. Has my sister gone soft? Yeah, I think you were intended uh, to turn this one first. You hunt her the grimoire and explain to what happened, Hembran is quiet. Explain to what happened. Hembran is quiet for a long while, looking down at the large book in her hands. Decades without her, over an accident. What have I done? It took me a little while to find the path to that wheels, but here it is. Alright, we got to level 30, so give me just a moment to see what we got. Uh, way of the Spear, I can see that one in here, and I think, I don't remember where I had it mapped, I think it was here, I'll need to check my screenshots. Shield Mastery, Shield Tactics, and the ranged version of those two Gambits. Ah, now we can do Gambit Chains, and we got the Master Sword and Spear training. Use of Light, oh, many useful things. Not as visible as, let's say, a flashy new skill or something like that, but it would still be really useful. It took me a little while to find a passage about Luiloth, but here it is. It says here that the lady came looking for help finding the source of power that was compelling the dead to walk. My ancestor and Luiloth worked out the location for the Grave Fear. Ah yes, I remember tales of this evil being. Let me see. She passes right in. Yes, here it is. My ancestor Darongan, Darogandes, urged Luiloth to gather forces, but Luiloth went on her own to... I cannot quite make it out, but wait. This passage here I do not remember. Darogandes wrote that Luiloth first went to seek counsel from another. Hmm. I think I know of whom she speaks. There is one who walks this forest even more powerful than myself. Her memory is long, and she will know where Luiloth next went. You will find her by the riverside, if you follow the path just right. You shall know her by her shining hair and, perhaps if you are lucky, by her song on the wind. I would love to, to see the sisters reunited and maybe... Ah, oh, destination event dim, awesome. Maybe... I, I, I will get... Um, maybe I, I will get the chance... Uh, well, at least going back to to Darwin and see if anything else is in there. Not as far as I can remember, but I, I want to make sure anyways. And the quest that we have active right now goes right past their hut. So I think I can check that one out. Now, if I could just find the river once again. In this darkness, it's a little bit hard to find. But well, we are back on the path. I think. <laughs> There's no clear path in the old forest, of course. And I gotta say, this this uh, sudden portion of the old forest is much more forgiving than the original one. Uh, a little bit expected, if you ask me. We are really far away from the influence of the old man Willow, so... It makes sense the old forest in here wouldn't be as complex and as mischievous as it is in the northern side, near the Woody Window. So it does make sense, but I, I mean, I'm not complaining, I'm, I'm really glad this is far easier to traverse than it was on the original side, even, even with a map. Traversing the old forest has, has still some tricky parts. At least 
when you when you return to the old forest after a long while of not questioning there. If you if you question the old forest for a couple minutes, uh, a couple of quests, you will start remembering all the paths around it. But coming back to it after a long break, that does. At least it does confuses me. I get confused a little bit while I get adjusted to it. Gambit Tinks, awesome. That's something that might come in handy later. Maybe not. Maybe it will. We'll see. Oh, come on, but I'm almost there. And of course, this Hornet is also going to get in the way. But here we are at long last. So, I, I think this warrants a picture. As far as I remember, before this expansion release, the only moment which you could see Goldberry was inside Tom Bombadil's house, but I know you, you can also see them. You can also see here on on one of the rivers in the old forest. She will also give you a quest in there, but it's it's really not as much. But yeah, Goldberry does have two appearances, or she had two appearances before the expansion was released. Now we can add this one to the list. And I gotta say, I, I really like how they were able to integrate her into the story as well. Both the shadows in your eyes and the murmur of the river tell me dark tidings have brought you. Welcome. You must be a friend to young Hembrand who have found me thus. I am Goldberry, and both the shadows in your eyes and the murmur of the river tell me dark tidings have brought you here. You explain your search for Luiloth and for a way to put the unquiet dead back to rest. Glad I am to hear that you are challenging the great fear. Though my heart knows sorrow once more too, to hear dear Louis Lot's name spoken. I spoke with her indeed, long ago and very near the same spot. She came to me for aid, as you yourself now do. I gave her what protections I could, and I hold hope that they provided an advantage in her final hour. For though she vanished, so too did the dead trickle back into their burrows. To you, I will give the same boon, but you must follow in her footsteps to procure it. Deep in the forest, behind the tangled webs of the deadly weavers, grow dust blossoms, the scent of which bolsters the heart against threat. Bring me five blossoms from the ruins at the center of the forest, that you may go to battle with your heart girded. Awesome. So yeah, we are not done yet. We still need to do a couple of things in here to get ready to challenge the grave here. But that's the ultimate goal. And, and we still need to make him pay for what he did to Meneldir, of course, among many other things. But as I was saying, I really enjoy uh, finding Goldberry through this quest chain. That was another surprise back in the day. Uh, I thought, well, we are in the southern, uh, southern part of the, of the old forest. And we are too far away from Tom Bombadil's house, so I... Never expected Goldberry to show up, especially because in the books, when the Hobbits meet Tom Bombadil, she says something along the lines of uh, the season is ending, the year is ending, and Goldberry will remain home until Springs comes. So that's why I, I didn't expect Goldberry to appear so far south from her home. Once again, it was a really nice surprise. Uh, we didn't see, we, we don't get Tom Bombadil. We will not meet him uh, for this expansion, but we met Goldberry. And that is the next best thing, of course. And 
top of that, well, I don't remember if we if we need Tom Bombadil because I remember there was an Easter egg at the end of this quest line that also blew me away, but I don't remember exactly how that Easter egg plays out. It has something to do with Goldberry and, and Tom Bombadil, but I don't remember exactly what happens. I just remember being blown away because at this point in time, after 16 years of development, I... I didn't expect the devs would be able to pull another detail from the early chapters of Fellowship of the Ring and throw in another easter egg. I, I thought they had already exhausted all the things they could reference to in the game uh, for this portion of the story. For God's sake, the fox that sees the hobbits at night in the Shire is in the game and, and I thought that was I still think that is the ultimate easter egg. If you're able to to use the fox for your game, one of the weirdest and most isolated portions of Fellowship of the Ring, if you can use that in your game, you you basically you basically got it. You win this. You you show that you know the source material so well that there is nothing you cannot do uh, that you cannot use to enhance your own thing and that's why I enjoyed that easter egg so much and that's why I didn't expect another easter egg to to occur this late into the game's development but they still managed to pull it off I was so blown away of course they also took advantage the 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 opportunity this expansion gave them to go back to these early areas early moments of the game and, and I can imagine them asking asking themselves, what haven't we done yet? And maybe there weren't a lot of answers to that question, but there were a couple of answers, and at least one of them made it into the game and blew me absolutely away. And I will tell you which one it is when we get there. Of course, if you have already played through this expansion, now that we're talking to Goldberry, you might remember what this one is, but I still want to talk about that one when we get there anyway. Welcome back. Oh dear, you have some webbing in your hair. You have found the dust blossoms? Wonderful. Now then, place the blooms in the water here and be sure to stay close by. What will I need to do next? A cloud of musty smoke envelops you. You feel more determined. Go with cheer and walk more lightly, for day will always follow night. May this small thing help you do great deeds. Awesome, and everything was voice acted. That that's a great way, a great send-off by Goldberry. It, it sounds very similar to the way she she talks in, in the books. It does remind me to the farewell Goldberry gives to the hobbits. I don't remember her exact words now and I don't have my book at hand right now but it, it does sound very similar and it gives you the same feeling of solemnity, of ancient power, of, of care protection towards you, it's a great line why don't I have my book close at hand you might be asking because previously when I wanted to reference a, a quote, a line from the books, I would just go and grab it. It's on my library right next to me. But the thing is, right now I'm in the middle of packing up because I will be moving to a new place. And I, with my wife, we, we decided to start packing up a little bit early than we are used to because the last time we we moved it, we we waited until the last moment to start packing and it was a nightmare there were many nights where we had to do some extra hours to be able to to be ready on time that was awful and we don't want to repeat that experience again so we decided this time we would do the exact opposite and start packing up earlier than usual. So we are still a few weeks away from the moving date. 
but of course it's been a day and night difference because we are what halfway done now and, and we just need to to give it what uh, four five hours every day a little bit in the morning and a little bit in the afternoon and and we've been able to go by bit by bit and also taking the extra time to see to really see what we're packing up and, and leave behind everything that we don't need so it's been a more chill moving experience this this time around it's I'm, I'm very grateful for that because yeah last time was really exhausting but not so anymore but since we started packing early we of course started by packing many of the things that we don't need on our day-to-day -day activities and that included all of my books basically i i tried i tried at least to leave my tolkien books on the shelf for a little bit longer for moments such as this in the case i needed to reference a line or double check a fact or or something but <laughs> but in the end uh, that's that's an argument i couldn't win <laughs> My wife made more compelling arguments, uh, that's the truth. So in the end, we ended up packing all of my books. And that's why I don't have my copy of Fellowship of the Ring with me. But, well... My memory will have to do in the meantime. I don't know how many episodes... And how many more things will I be able to record before I move? Because I expect at least a week of inactivity while we unpack and settle down in the new place. So that's a shame, but it seems that the channel will be coming to a short pause next month. And, and I'm right now trying to decide, should I start King's Gondor and see if I can finish that one before moving, or should I wait until I move and then when I'm in the new place do King's Gondor I have heard some comments it seems the area it's really not that long not that big but I would hate to uh, having to to cut that in the middle I, I would hate the the moving getting in the middle of that playthrough because I want to experience it all in one setting. So all, all, all this goes to say, if you already played through King's Gondor, let me know what you think. Should I wait? Should I do it right now? Uh, I will not upload that on the channel until after a few weeks because, well, I still need to upload Ankma Reborn and everything else. But should I play that already? Keep in mind, I also plan to uh, play through King's Gondor with uh, tier 3 landscape difficulties, so I would expect that would slow me down a little bit. So I'm not sure if I should do that or not. So yeah, please let me know. Have you played through the new content in update 36? Do you think I have enough time? I have two weeks, three, three weeks tops before moving. Is that enough? Should I wait and just uh, focus instead on, on packing and and everything else? Just let me know. I, I love hearing from you guys. And, and I, I, I know I, I haven't been as active answering your comments and, and, and everything. But this is one of the reasons why. I, I've been quite busy preparing all this. So I haven't had as much time as I used to to well spend here on the channel with, with all of you. But uh, well... On one hand, I hope you can understand, but on the other, please keep your comments going. I still read them all, and I still look for the best time to save some time and, and answer to all of you.
With that out of the way though, let us talk right now to Afrin, first of all. Welcome back. The spider silk we gathered is exactly what I needed. Glad to hear it. I feel slightly more confident that I will be able to keep up with the injuries my companions keep coming down with. <laughs> I hope I hope that's right. I hope that's right. And look who we have here, Ryangar and Gorwen. So you might already see where this is going. Your return. I was growing worried you were gone for so long. Yeah, sorry, I, I got caught up in, in a lot of things, but I came back as fast as I could. You tell her what you discovered. The woman you met sounds fascinating. And Sarge born? I have heard the name, but have never been. It was a haunted place even before the rest of Cardolan's dead stirred again. I don't think anyone mentioned that name before. Did I miss it? No, we, I, 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 I think I read it all. I would hate reviewing the footage and seeing that I missed some extra quest dialogue because that sometimes happened when I don't pay attention to the scroll bar, but well, that's where we're going next in any case. I still cannot believe you found so much evidence of Lilo's final hours. To even work with someone who had spoken directly to her. This is astonishing. Everything you have accomplished in such a short time is more than I have been able to do in my many years of research. We are so close. We now know where Luiloth went to fight the Great Fear. I suspect this creature was not defeated as was thought. They may even be in search born now. I hesitate to ask you to go, but... No, you have proven yourself over and over again. I believe you can follow in the footsteps of Luiloth, and in so doing, perhaps, we can put the dead to rest as she once did. This time, for good. I do not know the way to search Born, but I know one who might. I have been speaking with the ranger Gorwin. Ask her if she knows the path to that unholy place, and this quest will, at long last, reward us the chest piece for the elven set we've been... A We've been getting ever since we started this before the shadow content. The gloves, I have them right here. Give me just a moment. I know, I know my inventory is a mess right now. I, this is everything I have gotten ever since I started the playthrough. There are very few items I have sold, but I, I would get to that at some point. It's just that. I, I don't feel ready for that just yet. But anyway, uh, yeah, I think this is the full set. Plus a cloak. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. And you can... You can, well, go to the Delvin Barterer and take a look at the other ones in any case. It's a really cool set. All of them are. Ask her if she knows the path that unholy place. Do you, Gorwin? Oh, you have another quest for me. I do not know what you may find in Sarkborn. But I wonder if I could ask you to look for any clues that my mother may have gone that way. I suspect that, like us, she was following in Louis Lott's footsteps. I do not know what you might find, but anything at all would be of interest to me. I am returning to Herna. There's two musnets staring by now. You carry much hope with you. And I will keep hope in my heart that I will see you again. What about you, Gorwin? You have reason to believe that Grey there truly dwells within Sarkborn? It is there. I have not given thought to that terrible place since I was a young girl. It was spoken of as almost a myth among my kin. A tale to steal the hearts of children should the dead ever again crawl from the bars of Tirngwarta. I know the way to Sarkborn, Veriathan, but it is a treacherous. It is treacherous. It is to the west of here, built into a hill of black stone. If you spy an old wooden bridge crossing a chasm before a waterfall, you have found a way. If you seek to defeat the Great Fear, meet me there, my friend. And that's where we're going next, of course. So just last picture of Gorwin and Riangar. Wish me luck, both of you. Well, Gorwin and I will, will meet. Uh, at the entrance of, of Sark Warren, I hope so. You don't need to wish me luck as much as go with me and, and help me out, but you get what I mean, right? So.
I don't remember the exact way. I, I mean, I know how to get there and, and I can brute force my way around it anyway, if need be. Should I take the horse? I mean, we have time because we don't have enough time to run Sarkborn today on today's episode. So that leaves us the rest of the episode to get to the entrance of the place. And, uh, and yeah, eh, get ready to enter, but we will enter it on, on the next one. But that leaves us with plenty of time of getting there. We, we can, we can even take a couple detours, get lost if need be. It's not a long way. We have a lot of time. I hope you enjoy the stroll through. Ah, uh, the forest. It's a little bit foreboding, as, as you can see, like everything in these barrows have been. Well, we should be okay. We just need to, to look for the bridge. Which... I mean, we could technically jump from here I think it is yeah you can you can take a really big shortcut and uh, avoid a lot of things you would break a leg just so you know but that's how I usually do it but but for this playthrough of course I want to take my time, and we have the time. So we can look for the bridge the old-fashioned way. Who knows, maybe we find some extra surprises in here. Would be really nice if that were the case. If not, well, just getting to the bridge would be enough. Here we are. And we actually needed to cross this bridge because on the other side you will find this uh, skeleton, the weather skeleton, having bleached by the sun and weather by the years. Right. There was a necklace on the skeleton. And we need to bring the necklace to Riangar back in her now. But I think that's gonna be the last thing we do. Here, here is Gorwin. Gorwin stands before a great arc of Blackstone and she appears uneasy. In all my years, I have never dared to stray any closer to Sarkborn. But if this is where the great fear dwells, it is where we must go. There is no other choice, lest we allow this evil to spread through all of Cardolan, perhaps even all of Eriador. If this is truly the work of Ankmar, then my vengeance is twice earned. Cardolan has suffered enough loss, and we cannot allow the Great Fear to bring it to ruin once more. If Luilot's quest led her to these ancient grounds, perhaps we can find some sign of her passing in Sarkborn or some tool to aid us to overcome the Great Fear. Even the most insignificant thing may prove a great boon. Let us go, Beriathan. If we wait any longer, I fear my courage will fail me. Don't worry, Gorwin. We indeed need to go. And here is the entrance. Completed Perils of Cardolan. Awesome. You have discovered the entrance to Sarkborn, the Black Grave. That has completed a deed. Let me see. So we have completed the deed, Pearls of Cardolan. We have a new title, Scout of Cardolan. Loyalty, thank God, is level 1, so we can at least use that. And we have completed the Discovery Deed. Let me slot Loyalty. And let's check all of this. Scout of Cardolan, you have explored Cardolan in great detail. That we have. It took some time, but we did it. The discovery of Sarkborn, but also 
uh, in here, Perils of Carnland, all 14 locations, 5 Lotro Points, some reputation. What else? Oh god, we are roughly 6,000 XP away from, from hitting Kindred. Uh, we will be able to get a little bit more of extra reputation by completing these quest lines. And we will get a, some extra reputation as well by doing tasks. I might be able to hit Kindred with them uh, before this series ends, but I cannot promise anything just yet. Uh, but I'll do my best. I'll do my best. However, well, we are here at the entrance of Sarkborn. But once again, that is an endeavor that's better left for the next one. It's not a super long instance, but I still want to save it for, for, for the next one. I think it would be a great end to the Before the Shadow playthrough. After completing this instance, we'll grind our way a little bit to level 32 so that we can complete the epic and that'll be all. So we, we're almost here at the end. That's amazing. That's mind blowing. But we still have at least one more episode to go before that happens. And that means that is the end for today's episode. So once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, my friends, stay safe, take care. Good luck to you all. And I will see you later.